What is that? Whoa. That big dead fish right there. Is that peacock bass? Oh, it's gone. Oh, there's? And a one right there. And an iguana? Oh, there. Uh, catch that iguana. Hold on. Dude, what? What was that? What is that iguana doing next to those dead fish? Hold on. Let's find out. Hold on. The iguana's still alive. There's another one right there. Oh, right there. Stop, stop, stop. Right, right in front of you. Oh my gosh, there's another, they're hot. What? No way. Got him. I got him right there, yeah. Yeah. Got you going on now. Now, now it's live action now. Yeah, get him out that bush. Hold on, we gotta ask them, why are two iguanas over these dead fish? You need to ask him that question. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa, where you going? <laughs> we need to know. There <laughs> 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 we go. Nice grab. Yeah. The skin's getting kind of cold, too. Some of them probably didn't thaw it all the way yet, right? Yeah, it exactly. Hasn't been, it's been warmer, but it hasn't been hot, hot, you know? I'm trying to catch up on the sunlight. Yeah, but there was another one right here. And, and look at these two dead fish right here. So we're just trying to make, uh, you know, put two and two together here and just make a, you know, scientific assumption that maybe, for some reason or another, the dead fish here attracted the iguanas here for some reason. Were they trying to eat the fish? We don't know about that. But we know that iguanas are, you know, omnivores. They are opportunistic, guys. So maybe they're, at some point, they're thinking about eating some of that fish. I, mean, I don't know. That's what we wanted to ask them. What were you guys doing over there? You and your buddy. Yeah, the, the other one bailed. This one stuck around. I don't know guys, we, we, it's our first iguana here. We're gonna look around some more. Hopefully we see some more and then we can kind of uh, get some more conclusions together. But that's just exactly, an observation yeah. guys. We're not scientists or anything like that. We are just making observations from what we see here in the field. That's my disclaimer, I'm out. So we had some questions to ask you. Go ahead and ask him some questions, Roddy. Uh, what were you doing out there? Yeah, sunbathing, all by yourself. Where'd your friend go? We don't know, he dipped out. Man, I really wanna know why they were out there looking at those fish. And then look over here, we got some ducks over here about the fish too. It seems like with death comes more life guys because you know death it's like a circle of life or something like that death brings new life put it like that if the animals don't eat it guys the water, the earth will eat it and when the earth eats it will make more food for more animals to eat so there's always like cer different circles of life going on with death uh in a strange way but anyways speaking of that we got him bagged we do got to ask him those questions about what they're doing next to the fish let's go see if we can get another one yeah, take a look at the skin right here he's actually shedding Right here, really? yeah. yeah. You see that, right? Yeah, you know what? Some people sent me a picture of a uh, iguana skin, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, we're getting close." You want to go ahead and try to pull that off? Yeah. Oh wow. Ooh, okay. You can kind of see that right there. So if you see this on your property, iguana shed or reptile shed, you know, if you see that, you definitely know that there's some kind of iguana or snake close by. Just right. FYI. Exactly. Yeah. Just a heads up. He's kind of cute though. No, there's more dead fish everywhere. Another big peacock bass. And they're big too. They're not like babies. They're actually. Yeah, the tropical fish really couldn't stand the, uh, you know, mm. stand it. That's so. It's like a what, third or fourth dead fish we saw in this one little. Yeah, they're just starting to go back. It's a rabbit. The Yo. It's right there. It's like a hedgehog or something. What is that? It's a caribou, a baby caribou, a capybara. It looks like a, oh my God, you see that capybara? I see it, yeah. Right, it looks like a small capybara or a bunny. It's not a bunny. Wow. Yeah, whoa. Yeah, there's nice right here. bunny, guys, what's that? Is that a bunny? This would be perfect bunny habitat. It makes sense, dude. Guys, we found peacock bass out here. Ducks, iguanas, and now we, there's wild bunnies out here, guys. Where's he at? So there's bunnies all on this golf course, guys. What we've kind of uh, found out. It's one at 12 o'clock right there. Damn, they go in these bushes, guys. Iguanas on. Nice. Guys, this marshland is full of wildlife, guys. Look at this. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, 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 shoot. <laughs> oh, he's death rolling. Oh my oh. goodness. All right, so it's Whoa. very important to get him tired out. Yeah, just you let him get tired. You can't go for the grab right there because he's really feisty. 
to let them tire out. After he's tired out, boom, you just go for a nice grab right behind the shoulders right there. And be careful not to get bit. It's a feisty little bugger. Yo! <laughs> Dude, this is an insane ecosystem it out is. here, y'all. Check this out. They can hide in this. Yeah. There's probably burrows. You guys, this is the second iguana that we've seen uh, going to the marshlands for a uh, refuge. First one was sleeping in the water. The uh, other one was sleeping on the hedge. This guy was right here sunbathing, but he was retreating back in this marsh, y'all. Yo, that is insane, dude. Insane. He almost got away. But check out the nice colors on him. He has a nice teal on the top and a nice orange on the bottom. Really beautiful creature. Uh, yeah, so the perfect size of iguanas you want to harvest are basically like, to me personally, I like the medium sized ones. Not too big, not too small. To me, they the, the meat's more tender on that size. Perfect for stews, you can fry them up, all kind of different dishes you can do. Um, my personal favorite is the curry. You gotta stay tuned for a curry catch and cook soon. Uh, yeah, in my opinion, this one's perfect size to eat. Could definitely feed two people very easily. Yeah, so later this week, we're gonna harvest this one for dinner. Oh, there's oh, there's one just ran in there. Yo, get that pole ready, Hooper. Because y'all are up next. Roddy already got his. Yeah, I got two of them already. Roddy I got, already I got, got his dinner. bag. Yeah, he's got his <laughs> bag. There's Larry and Marie got to get their bag now. This is a Florida swamp right here, Roddy. Yeah, it is. Big time. It's full of life. It's flourishing with life, y'all. Could have a lot of snakes in there, too. Iguanas, fish, Gators. snakes, turtles. We even seen bunnies out here. Look at oh look! I'm gonna let you guys try to figure out where the giant iguanas are. Give you guys a minute. There's a giant iguana looking right at us. Where do you think he is? Man, he's really good at camouflaging right now because I don't see him right now. He's not close by. He's not close oh, by. He's not close by. Yeah. Oh, 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 he's right there. <laughs> I'm over here thinking he's like catch a boy, like right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn. Sun grazing. There he there is. Right. Man. There he is right there. Right now, he's like, you know, he's got the perfect spot. He's got protection from the, the tree in the back. He's got the sun hitting him perfectly. And then also, he's got a good bird's eye view of us. And then if you look right above him you'll see some females waiting for him up there in a different part of the of the of the tree mansion you know this is like a mansion for him he's got his own personal sunning platform and then you see the females right already yeah I do. they're just up there just just waiting for the beast to come home I'm telling you guys these these iguanas y'all they it's like jungle jungle warfare out here for him you know jungle fever these iguanas got jungle fever, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> jungle fever. Good one. Oh, 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 swamp iguana right there. Where? Right here. Oh, my God. Look at it. It's just basking right into the mud. Hey, see, he's camouflaged perfectly. He's blended in with the same color as the mud. It's like a croc, dude. Oh, yeah, go. He's going to make a move. Yep, just start going. Wow. Hooper. <laughs> Walking up to him like, here's LeBron James. You gotta be sneaky, Hooper. Gotta be sneaky. Yeah, she's right on him. She has his fine in the head. Yeah, he's, she's right there. They want us right in there. Dude, this is a crazy, crazy environment. First for me, Roddy. Now he's hiding his head. The iguana. Dude, what are these iguanas digging in the mud here, dude? Guys, the iguana is in there somewhere. I can see his tail sticking out. Yeah, so it's definitely a big challenge right here. Let's see. Wait, let her figure it out. You know, it's right. Oh, I see its head. Let her figure it out. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This thing failed. No, she had it. Yeah, you did. I seen it. Oh. This thing failed somehow. Oh, there was a big one there. 
Did you have that on camera? Are you rolling? Yeah, I'm rolling. I'm still right here. Hold on. I still see it. I see his head. Where's his head? Straight over. Yeah, right there. Straight down. He's exactly down from you. Yeah. Silly iguana. I know. I know. I, I was right there, but there was like a little twig. Hold him. I should have just tried getting it on him real quick, you know? Yeah. I was already right, like, a centimeter away from him, you know? Right weapon, weapon. Well, all right, let's just keep walking. Wait, 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 hold on, Larry, what do you see, bro? On the tree. On the tree? Which tree? What do you see? You sure? Oh, snap! Oh, he's right there. He's right there. He's grabbable. Oh, my God. It's freaking huge. He's golden. Oh! oh!